Question marker, fully a deux. Let's go. Trailers finally here. What's going on, Alamo City Movie Talk fans? As always, I'm your host, Ryan D. You can only Ryan 680. I'm Angela Dacarian. And this is Alamo City Movie Talk. Thank you so much for making us a part of your day. You know what to do, guys. Do not forget, hit that bell notification, and let's get right to it. Uh, so, long story short, I do apologize. I, I well, was literally working out. We were having dinner, mm-hmm. and Warner Brothers, they announced that they were going to supposed to release this about 30 minutes from now, about 8.30, and they decided to release at 8 o'clock. So I was like, oh, shoot. All right. Sounds good to me. Yep. Literally released at 8 o'clock uh, Central Time. And so we're truly excited for this. I cannot wait. And this is definitely my most anticipated movie of the year, for sure. Uh, this It was this and Dune two, Part 2, so we already got Dune Part 2 out of the way. Um, and I'm truly excited. I, you know, the first Joker was just so epic. It was so fantastic. It was so amazing. It shocked the world. And yeah, we'll leave it at that. But I'm truly excited. Are you excited for this? Can't wait to see Lady Gaga. Can't wait. <laughs> right? Oh, man, I'm so excited for this, guys. And the question is for you. How excited are you for this movie? Are you anticipating? How? What's your anticipation rate? Put on comments down below because we want to hear your thoughts. And thank you so much once again, guys, because we just hit 20,000 subscribers. Thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you all so much. And let's get right to it. Joker, Fole et Dur. <laughs> Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? We use music to make us whole, to balance the fractures within ourselves. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. Wow, October. Holy crap. Two days after my birthday. Um holy crap. What did you think of this, Angela? What what's your first initial reactions? What you what, what do you think I about this trailer? Love what, Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> I have always loved her. Dude, and oh she could do like dark and twisty just fine. I've been rewatching Gears of Dummy, sorry. Yeah. Um she could do that. She's well, done American Horror Story. American too. Horror yeah. Story. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. She's she's it did her zone. I know she's done other stuff like um Stars Born. Yeah. Yeah. But Which this, has that emotional uh, artistic feel because that was how that movie was. Yeah. And there that uh, emotional this connection. This is like the best of both worlds. And I <laughs> yeah. love her. I think she's gonna be great, phenomenal. Yeah. It just looks awesome the way it's shot like this yeah. shared madness that they have yes it looks we'll shot it there, yeah. so good and I, I can't wait this gets me so excited i wasn't sure what to expect honestly from the second one. i yeah. i knew we, we knew yeah. joaquin was coming back we knew lady gaga mm-hmm. was going to be in the mix yes. but yeah. i didn't know exactly what they were going to do you know yeah. and, and this is awesome like the the story it's so simple but yet you know a lot of stuff's going to go down like, yeah. a lot of craziness exactly. is going to go down yep. and i yep. cannot exactly. wait for this Oh, man, I got to take a deep breath for this because I am just truly 
amazed. This trailer is fucking amazing. This trailer gives me fucking goosebumps. This trailer is just remarkable. It's the madness between two chaotic people in in the head. And it's truly mesmerizing because you're just lost in what's reality, what's what's not reality, what's what kind of music. And I'm kind of curious because we don't know if Joaquin Phoenix is going to sing in this or not. But and he can't sing. I mean, yeah. So like, obviously, walk the line. So um, <laughs> I, I'm I'm very curious to see what type of like. I mean, it's it seems like they're going more classical music, which I love, and then maybe mix it up a bit. But I mean, Todd Phillips, you know, the director of the first Joker, and I'm so happy and excited that he is doing the second one. So I've never had any doubts of him at all. Mm -hmm. The way it's shot, the way it's filmed, the Joker Harley uh, scenery, it just it looks epic it looks amazing looks fantastic looks very inventive mm -hmm. in a way to where it's their own madness one of the things i was a little questionable on questionable on is the fact that harley quinn's outfit it's very different from the comics very different same thing with the joker of course they change it up mm -hmm. a bit very different i was just worried about harley quinn how is she going to portray on the costume but we got a small glance of it we even got the mirror side of it where just like joker does in the first yeah, yeah. yeah it looks great lady gaga looks fantastic she looks amazing mm -hmm. in the costume i thought i was gonna have a problem with it but i don't i don't it actually fits into this world that they created mm -hmm. and that's the thing too because it's like well what kind of costume you're gonna go with you're gonna go with the margot robbie no we want something different well yeah because yeah. i mean because his is not like you say the same it, I yes mean, in yeah the traditional comics yeah. it's like what purple yeah yeah and yeah. this one's it's red so I yeah mean, yeah it makes something sense. different and then also they're doing the white I love that white tuxedo, mm -hmm. and it brings out just the face way more. Um, and, that, and you know, fun fact, ladies, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm going to say this fun fact because I don't. I'm trying to think, and I, I, I don't think I ever. Um, Joaquin Phoenix, he's never done a sequel before. Besides Gladiator Two, if he is, I mean, he's casting Gladiator Two. That's the only sequel. Besides, but but this was already filmed a long time ago, so. He, besides uh well i don't even know if he's in gladiator too because he you know uh, spoiler alert he dies but anyways um uh <laughs> in in the in in his film in his film resume he's never done a sequel and when he said okay i'm doing he, he even said it i'm not coming back for joker i'm not coming back again but then when todd phillips came out and said hey you know what this he's not going to do it right unless the script's right and the director's coming back and holy crap i mean this film was it's, nominated it's, for best picture the second comic book movie the first one was wakanda, uh, was wakanda uh was black panther the second comic book movie to get nominated for best picture he won an oscar for best acting and it wasn't even like a marvel movie or anything like no that. no this DC, it was yeah completely yeah. like yeah solely different and i know yeah. joaquin always brought his a gaming you know, yes he's yeah such a method actor yeah. such great so and i know yeah. lady gaga's gonna be the same she's gonna bring yeah. her see and i magic think to this i call me great. call me crazy but i i i mean i i really think that that lady gaga wants that oscar she wants to be nominated i know and like and I, yeah. I understand i i she didn't win for um house of gucci right yeah yeah and uh, i mean I'll, i think that was a was it a movie or tv series uh it was a movie i never saw it yeah um, it was a movie I shouldn't watch it because I love her. <laughs> and I think yeah. Adam Driver's in there too, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah great cast. But, Jared Leto too. Yeah, yeah so um, I want her to win something because yes. I know she didn't the song for A Star is Born, wasn't mm. that nominated? Yeah. But did she win it? No. That's so sad, man. She deserves the Oscar. This though, I could, I could see it. Yeah, no, I, I would think more so. Uh, I got to bring in the facts here. I just I, for Star is Born is what it is, but I feel like she didn't. I don't want to say she didn't deserve it, but I felt like that her uh, she she didn't stand out as much as Bradley Cooper's story did because it was his story. So, but regardless, though, I feel like with this ad, ad, uh, addition into the character development between them two going the madness together, I feel like they're gonna have a lot of screen time together and maybe even the same amount of screen time. I could see that because and that's good because that way she'll get nominated for that best actress and maybe Joaquin Phoenix I mean it's it's a you know we still got the whole year left we st we're about a quarter out of the year already done and we still got you know this is coming around October and I yeah, uh, October no, October no all the way down to like the end of the year it's literally Oscar season for films to come out so I mean, I mean there's a lot of I mean, the last the last movie that came out came out in October <laughs> 
there's a lot of films that are going to be yeah. on the chopping block for yeah you know they're going to be heavy but, contenders yeah. but i see this yeah. one again the first one blew everyone out of the water yeah surprised the hell out of everybody yes it did reminded everyone that joaquin still got it i still believe he's going to bring that magic yeah the dogs are going to bring that and, spice that yeah. magic this is going to be a stellar film i i really do I, we are going to go into this with high hopes yes and i don't think we'll be disappointed no and see that's the thing too it's like you know jokers this this joker adaptation creates this emotional connection with the audience in a way because you're you you kind of in a way feel sorry for the guy but then like yeah yeah, you sympathize with him and it and it and it it, uh, what do you call it the empathy and all that really ignites his character because you're following him and you like you you don't want him to escape but then at the same time you don't want him to be stuck there because he's you know he's crazy so it's like it's and then he has followers at the end right yeah so like people who yeah, and it looks like they're yeah. going something different route because Harley Quinn is not the doctor like it is in the yeah. in the comics. So I appreciate that though because sure. I'm, I'm, it, it I'm, makes I'm, sense. Yeah, it makes sense. it makes sense in this world, else world, because James Gunn already said it. This is an else world movie. I'm intrigued. Are they gonna have Batman references in here like they did in the first one? Oh, I, I mean, if they have I little, mean, if they have little Easter eggs like here, Gordon, or maybe I don't know, maybe little Easter eggs. I'm for it. I'm just like, ooh, get it. and um, I'm like that. Um, and especially when they showed Bruce Wayne uh, in the first one, so I was all giggly. I was like, oh, that's Bruce, that's Batman. Um, but anyways, uh, because just because Batman's my favorite character of all time, yes, I know. and Joker is just he's this re- may turned a different leaf on the character made people care more ab- ab- about a joker in, in the in a sense to where like and that's the thing too is that like a lot of people were against the first one they were like you know what we, we cannot see joker without batman because that's what this movie was originally idea that's the first one boring. and they were and no but like they were just like it's never gonna work it's never gonna work and look at it. It took okay, a risk. People and, have and, said yeah. that about ev- almost every movie. Oh, Gal Gadot can't be Wonder Woman because, you know, she's too skinny. No. And yeah. and, and you know what, what yeah. happened with that? You know, yeah. people are always going to criticize. Now we want her back. Now <laughs> we want her back. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I want her back. But we'll leave it at that, guys. A question is for y'all. What do y'all think? Is this the epic trailer that you expected? Are you kind of like, eh, look, 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 put all comments down below. We will look for your comments. We will see, respond to every single one of you guys as much as we can. But this uh, joke uh is epic this this uh it's it just everything i ever hoped for i cannot wait i hope we get to see an imax if not we are definitely oh, seeing that because yeah. it says filmed in imax so i don't if we get a press screen for this in i'm if we don't get a press screen for this in imax we're watching an imax opening well, weekend regardless yeah. i think we're gonna watch yeah it. we're gonna watch an yeah. imax because <laughs> i want to see the biggest picture possible and this movie just looks phenomenal and epic but again we saw the first one in press imax so you never we know. It. Yeah, we gotta rewatch it, and yeah, but we saw the first one in press IMAX, so hopefully that happens. But anyways, Pretty without please. yeah, with anyways, <laughs> without further ado, guys, let us know once again. As always, I'm your host Ryan D. Clone Ryan six eighty. I am Angela at that Cali This is Alamo City Movie Talk, guys. Have a good one. Thank you for talking movies. See you at the movies, guys. Catch you later.